Oh, he's, not, he's not raising his gun in the air and, like, and going like. <laughs> he seems to, he's, he, he did he did that before, but then somebody tried stabbing him, so he's less inclined to do it now. <laughs> also, the gun that they're trying to get on the ship are like, will they drop their weapons or are they going to fight me? <laughs> Given that there's like one well, six other Jedi and Korra all here and the turrets seem to be picking a few of their brethren who decide to shoot off <laughs> they're gonna just go drop their weapons and go hold up their hands Tisa shuts up light lightsaber wise decision God this fight went much easier because you brought the Jedi and decided to hack the turrets I'm surprised I mean, you missed out on the mechanic, but you guys did really fucking well. Well done. Apart from shooting in the back of the head, I thought that was a mistake, but still. I'm going to be honest, um, I regret nothing. That was an amazing shot. You have to acknowledge that. It did nothing. Yeah, he didn't, though, the fact that he didn't I'm, go down I'm think... says more about him than it does about me. I'm, I'm thinking well, the guy yeah. is swimming in, in, in strain, soak, and strain. <laughs> yeah, he's just, he's just complete soak. That's it. He's just tough as fuck. The thing is, like, Jedi weapons don't give a shit, so... <laughs> Once his shield yeah. went down, suddenly him being swarmed and cut into little pieces, he couldn't do Fucking much. Fucking lightsabers, man, eh? Good, good, thing, uh, good thing he didn't have a single pistol or he would have won that fight. <laughs> Kick. Right, the nerd's still there. I'll get rid of the ground a second. And I'll bring all you here. Actually, that's uh, also a good point. I guess if Korra is going after the Twi'lek, so is Teaser, because... You know, we promise not to kill them. Yeah, we gotta get them back safe. <laughs> you can get a few. You can definitely get a few of them, but others are like, no, don't worry, I can make my own way home. Okay. <laughs> Good. But there, are, there are more than a few that are like coming with you. It's like, okay, I guess we're safe with you guys. It's like you. I mean, you can come with us, or you can trek through like flesh raider lands, yeah. and you know. Because that <laughs> seems is... like a fucking good idea. <laughs> the thing is, a few of them basically go, we're used to it, and they do head on off, but the others do stay. Hang on, I've got to turn this guy around. He's just, you can see him like playing with a small console, and he's just waiting now. Is Zax on the, on the bridge, or is it down yep. on the ground? Okay. Um, the Jedi is court. still around too, <laughs> just so we're clear. Yeah, of course. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming they're guarding the prisoners. <laughs> uh, I, I will call Jack in the comp link. Is it? Jack, is there anything resembling a functioning holocommunicator communicator on that ship? I can see what I can do. Ash, is there anything resembling a functioning holocommunicator communicator on the ship? Yes. Uh, by the way, while there that's is. happening, I'm gonna approach the little guy, uh, put one of my hands on my hips and say, You're a great distraction, but you know, things were going a lot smoother before you decided to make a mess out of everything. He looks towards you for a moment, looks down to the body, and then just goes, Yeah, I don't think so. Which probably would shock some people since Jawas don't normally talk common at all. Still, though, gotta admit, you, you got some mean fighting skills there, not bad. And with her other free hand, she's gonna offer him a fist bump. He offers you one out as well, and given your time in the galaxy, he smells better than most Jawa. Since Jawa don't bathe normally, he smells kind of okay. Well, I, I, I you know, Ash, when anything. you said that one fucking Jawa went outside, started causing a scene, and everybody was in an uproar about it, I already kind of guessed that he is kind of special, okay? Okay. We, we don't need to know about his bathing fucking habits, okay? <laughs> no, it's just, it's actually a part of his way. So I'm just saying, if you when you touch his hand, you don't feel like you have to disinfect yourself. <laughs> so, I'm gonna um, look towards the corpse uh, and say, You're a bounty hunter or something? They seem like they know you. Yeah. Hello, Monzo. He points to himself and... Wait, well, you can easily look him up on any data pads or show you the information. Sure. He does have a, like a monocle type thing over one of his eyes. Oh, he's sort of like a scavenger, so maybe he knows about some rare shit that I might find, huh? <laughs> like Cortosis weave? That's not scavenger. Okay, fine. 
Oh, could you say that again, please? No. We got dancing wheels. <clears throat> oh, since he introduced himself, I'm Cora. Nice to meet you. He nods. I know you. You do? He looks confused. He no. Huh? There are bounties on you and your friends' heads. Oh, I'm gonna assume it's from a hut. He nods. <laughs> Don't worry, I know take your bounty. Oh, that's awfully generous of a bounty hunter. Mind if I ask why? I heard good things about you. And piss off uh, that kind of hut. You're good people. Oh, that's awfully generous of you. Speaking of that hut, there wouldn't happen to be a bounty on his head as well, would it? Uh, I, I suppose that would be too much to ask for, huh? He, d he does nod, actually. Wait, there is a bounty on him? Hey. I'm gonna immediately slip him my contact information. I'm willing to fucking kill him for free. You ever, uh, you ever run into him, you let me know. I just want him dead. Understood. I will keep eye out for him. Perfect. So then, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go check on the Jedi, see if they're alright. Uh, I, I feel like you've made yourself comfortable here, so you'll be fine, right? Don't worry, ship is on the way. Be here in a minute. Cool. Just make sure not to celebrate too early again, okay? Okay. I'm gonna just laugh it off and check on the Jedis. The Jedi are just hanging around currently, like... Basically, after a brief of uh, the Padawans, oddly enough, thanks to the turrets, survived. Any of them <laughs> wounded, or is everybody fine? Some, there's some wounds here and there, yes, but... Oh, I know what are. Kynes wants to do right now. Hey, Kynes, there's a few wounded Padawans here. I hear, like, uh, you've got real hard on for Jedi stuff and uh, Force users that are good? What do you mean by hard on? <laughs> Ah, uh, that was more what out of character, but... You speak of? <laughs> I, I'm just gonna say, Kynes, a few of the Padawans seem to have taken wounds down here. Do you, uh, do you, can you spare a moment to come and help them out? Of course! The Padawans are a teen, <laughs> in their teen years, but they are very happy to get some treatment. I'm just gonna do another uh, I'm just gonna go to the Masters That's and right, yeah. uh, offer them a, hand, uh, a handshake. Thank you for your help. For fuck's sake. The... What the fuck's happening? Uh, I don't know. You can I... use the light side dice, Jack. <sighs> yeah. Go ahead. <clears throat> like, like, yeah, like, what, what's going on with your rolls? <laughs> like, you have really good medicine. What the fuck? <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know. There's something wrong with my combat rolls today as well. It's fucking it's like, weird. Apart from when I want to kill the things. Three, like, three goddamn yellows and a green. It's like, he's god at medicine. It's like, nope. <laughs> By the way, you can see uh, the sh uh, ship parking nearby, which probably you assume is Hallas. And he's currently getting his droids to drag Chad, or <laughs> I've forgotten his actual name now. One second. Chad Captain. Yeah, Brosh. Captain Brosh uh, onto the ship. Uh, what was the Munchkin's name? Uh. Palamonza. Palamonza. Uh, I'm gonna, after I'm done uh, thanking the Jedi and shaking their hands, I'm gonna say, Hala, before you leave, uh, I'm gonna point to the giant ass fucking repeater laser gun. Mind if we keep that as a souvenir? You can have the bounty. He looks down towards it, shrugs, like, they are broken anyway, take it. Sure, thanks. He allows you to take the broken weapon. <clears throat> Well, just Sadly, the energy pack is broken, so the weapon should hopefully be intact, despite that explosion. Sadly, heavy turrets and a lot of other lightsabers did break it a bit, but otherwise it is repairable. Oh, okay, at least. at least there's that, okay. So it's a repairable weapon. <laughs> I think this is like the third weapon I'm getting for Astrid, by the way. Yep. You need gunnery to fire it, it's that fucking big. Do you just drag it? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna leave it there and as soon as Astrid steps out of the ship, I'm gonna point to the giant ass ship and let <clears throat> nature run its course. I think that gun's like encumbrance 10 or something. It's fucking massive. Uh, well, I'm what I'm hearing you know. is you need a tripod. So yeah, Astrid, as you walk down the ramp and you see Koro, she just points towards the ground and you see a massive ass gun. 
I uh, okay, the put my hands cannon. together like uh, I'm praying and I just nod. <laughs> thank Eyes you. Oh, I thought, just, I thought uh -huh. of putting her hands together and rubbing them. It's like, yes. yes. It's like, thank you, God of Guns. No, she's like, thank Montgomery Burns. Excellent. Excellent. Also, is there any possible way that we'll be able to get to me getting upgrades today? Yes, please. Yeah, yes. why? We have time, don't no worry. <laughs> yeah, it's just you It's just you guys. It's up to you how fast you move. Right. I mean, oh, yeah, no, no, trust me. I already don't have, have like an all hour of more my game time upgrades. I already have uh, oh, yeah, that reminds me. I should talk with the Jedi. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm assuming that you're gonna have to do your report now. What should we do with the ship? No way, we'll be staying here to take care of that and the artifacts. Alright, we'll leave the cleanup to you then, and the report. Uh, we've got um, some things to take care of, plus uh, I gotta check on the rest of the crew, see if anybody got wounded. We'll get back to our ship and swing by the temple later. Understood. <clears throat> so, uh, meanwhile, teaser has been making her way back up to the water bridge where Jack is, and our wounded. That reminds me, I'm gonna quickly contact Tizer. Tizer, I've conveniently not uh, told the others anything about our friend inside. I believe you're gonna wanna handle that yourself, correct? Well, after a fashion, first I need to establish a few things. Go ahead, we've got time. <clears throat> so Tizer is going to sit down on the ground in front of Amari. Mm -hmm. When is the last time you spoke to Master Shilak? A few days ago. Does she know about your activities? Of course not. Well, that is going to make this more complicated, I suspect. I should also point out the Order already knows that someone is involved. Of course they do. No one would have known. After all, I made sure that they avoided the other Jedi. They? She gestures around to the ship. Actually, Ash, what does he, what does she look like in the Force? Yeah, what, the I Jedi. need to make a roll for that. No, this like, looks like, like Jedi. Oh, okay. Like, like side of a Force, Force, you know, Jedi. Yeah. You do realize that there's more to the Order staying out of this than just the Republic telling them to. And that would be. If they were to step in on the behalf of the Twi'leks, then that would open the door and set a precedent for anyone who wished to trap a crash onto Tython to seek refuge. It, will have, it would force the Order to defend each and every one who take refuge here without having permission to do so, binding them... Oh, sorry. Fuck. Um, tying, them, tying up these resources which could, which could have been used elsewhere. Ah, you mean like exactly what happened on Coruscant? Where the temple was built, and cities spawned, and everybody was protected by the Jedi. But no, because we had a slap on the wrist, now we're scared to protect anyone. Have to make sure to cuddle up to the Republic, make sure to ignore everybody in trouble. Then again, your views have always been against the code, so why should I bother? My views are not necessarily against the code, but I do not believe the code contains the entire truth. <laughs> as expected. She gives out a small, like, cat-like hiss as she tries to move, her wound's still painful. You shouldn't try to move. It is a wonder you're not dead. Force protects. I'm not that hurt. It's painful, though. I know. Can you stand? I would prefer not to, but I could. Um. I don't suppose we have a portable portable uh, holo communicator. Uh, I believe you do. You used it before. I do. I I have what? Yep. Yeah. 
I mean, I have an ordinary comlink. Oh wait, right. In in T U R time, that is a communic holy communicator. Never mind. <laughs> Derp. <laughs> Um, well, we keep right. a small little disc that shows up a little hologram. Yeah, yeah. No, I keep forgetting that we're we're in TOR, different timeline. More, actually, more advanced tech in some areas, which is weird. Um, right. I'm so, Teaser will move into the uh, bridge and activate, well, that holo communicator and well attempt to slave that to her own so that. Whatever is showing up, showing up on her like pocket-sized version actually connects to the ship, so she can broadcast to other planets. Because I'm assuming the little pocket one cannot do that, right? All right. Hmm. Okay, and then she goes back to the uh, to Amari, and then she calls Master Shilak. Hello. Thank you. Three. Hmm. Oh, just saying. That she looks a bit confused. I have a bit of a situation, and I'm not sure how to proceed. Ah, well... If you sort out the situation, well, what do you mean? I'm confused. <clears throat> how much do you know about someone raiding old rune temple runes on T Typhon and selling... and? Well, taking artifacts to sell. I only heard a report, but that's been handled by someone else. Why? Yes, it is handled by us. Oh. I meant a different master, but otherwise, I see. Well, that master Why are you hired calling us. me? Well, see... I already knew that someone from within the Order was working with the Raiders. Against the Order's wishes, naturally. Although I cannot see, I don't understand the side of the point. However... And so does the Master behind me, uh, might I add. However, said person is a mutual acquaintance of us, and I'm not sure what to do. And Teaser holds up the Holy Communicator so that Amory is in, you know, view. I see. She looks a bit disappointed and goes, I see. Anyway, you better report it. Are you sure? Do you not wish to deal with it yourself? Well, I do trust the people of the uh, manor. I cannot be there at the moment. After all, if she was to suddenly be transported here, what's to say she won't get away? If she really had, but I trust her. If you want to send her my way and you trust her as well, then I will wait for her here on Sass. Well, you are her master. I will leave up to you how you wish to, how you wish to deal with her. But if you wish me to turn her into the order, I will do so. If you leave it entirely up to me, then send her here. Very well. And Tizzy just heard, turns to Amory. You heard that, correct? Amory nods. Very well. Although first we shall have to do something about your wounds, because you cannot travel in that state. Well, as you are now. She nods in agreement. Looking down, she seems to... It's kind of like how her mother goes, I'm not angry, I'm just I'm disappointed. just disappointed. Yeah, pretty and much. she's like, ah, oh, no. I, I like I, the best part of, or like the most ironic part of this is like the fact that Teaser is does like ha, sort of has she likes approval and this girl doesn't. Weapons of mass confusion. Anyway, <clears throat> can't see that. He doesn't have right eyes. then. Then I sh then I bid you farewell, Master Shiak. I will send. We will send it to you as as soon as we are able. Thank you. It means a lot. And she just turns off the holocom. And then see she calls up Jack. Yeah, I'll answer. Jack, we are going to have a guest for a few days. But you invited your master here? Not quite. Ex-master. 
Not you know quite, I'm... but I have agreed to send her wayward student to her. Wait, why? Because she is her master. Her student is her, is her responsibility to deal with. Can't you just leave her with some sort of Jedi prison on Typhon? I could, but Master Shirak requested we send her, her there so she can deal with her herself. Where is she, like? Zerus. Still on you... Zerus, I imagine. Yeah, you left her there. <sighs> Fine, but you owe me. Of course I do. She doesn't have access to any weapons. Well, her weapon is cut in half. And I don't plan on allowing her to refer to, refer to it anytime soon. Whether or not she is allowed to at all would be Master Shilak's call. Do you think Master Shilak's the right person for this, Tisha? Tisha raises an eyebrow and is like, She is her master. Indeed. I just feel like sometimes this Jedi Order can... Well, they limit themselves by being stuck up their own asses. <laughs> True, but you know as well as I that Shilak is not exactly like the most masters. Yes. Yes, I've forgotten about that. <laughs> Very well. Which does mean that we're going to need, need some way to move her. I don't think we want to move her in her current condition. Now make sure that she packs up. Thank you, Keynes. And yeah, I'm. I'm don't need to brought, like play any, everything else out in case people don't specifically want to. Like we can we can just assume that we move along, I guess, or no? Yeah, fine by me. Yeah. So, do you wish to? Uh, well, you've been whining about it for a while. Do you want to go and? Uh, no, I Mess forbid around. it. No upgrades. We fly away. Well... Uh, <laughs> uh, actually, <coughs> there is something else I want to do, but everybody's been waiting for the upgrade, so let's just do that, and if there's time, I mean, I'll do my thing. Too? <laughs> haven't you as well, though? Uh, speaking of which, Adam, do you not really need to acquire a few pieces in order to complete your saber? Uh, will it not be there? Not exactly, oh. but you can easily buy the rest of pieces here. I mean, even if Jack like assumes that like they're gonna magically show up somehow, Tisa is going to make sure that they magically sh magically show up somehow. Um, one quick thing: if you mind, the Adam the person hang on, hang wasn't on, here well, when this was originally on. mentioned, so he oh, has Adam, no idea what wait, the fuck is going Adam. on. Wait, Adam, wait, sorry. Expert, uh, expert, what was that? Uh, I wanted uh, one uh, quick thing before we continue with the upgrades and stuff. Uh, as Tizer and um, her former Padawan friend are leaving, I'm gonna take note of her grievous wounds and say, Bet you wish you stayed uh, in the bridge with me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you would have been more merciful. She says, as matter of factly, as if, yeah, you would have been far more merciful. Or just shrugs. <laughs> but yeah, that was me. That's what I wanted to do. That's literally it. <laughs> okay. I've always, I've always rolled with okay. No, no, right. there's other stuff so, I want to do, but we can do you, this first. Yeah. If you want the other components of your lightsaber, which are just the Eternals you're looking for, you know, the technical stuff, since you've got the handle part, um... You can just buy them, which would be, I believe... It's something like 200 credits, or 300 or something like that. I think. No, wait. Ah, uh, fuck. Actually, there are rules somewhere for, like, what the part cost is. Um... Yeah, I can't find them there, that's the issue. Do you want me to just yeah, throw no, 300 just credits me, at you? Give me a second. Well, I you believe. do have... Mainly, the price of the throw main lightsaber like is, like, the gem. That's the thing. Yeah, that's I the most expensive yeah, thing. Everything else is dirt cheap. Like a few hundred credits, basically. Yeah, that's like the yeah. of it. So yeah, you can throw me like 300 credits and we... No, I'm gonna throw 300 oh, credits at Ash and call and say, not having to look up prices. Bargain. Yeah. It's like, you found you found a nice, lovely, like, hilt thing for yourself. It's fine. That's insane. I just recovered seven strain from that. Jesus Christ, presence is awesome. Um... <sighs> oh, hell, it's not even fucking that. 
Uh, if you want to, you also just want to build a like standard saber, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's hundred credits. Oh, hundred? Just give me a yeah. hundred then. <laughs> Sick. It costs that's, like that's, nothing. That would yeah, be a hundred. If I want to get more fancy, I assume someone will teach me that in character. <clears throat> I mean, the thing, it's just a, like a master of like what kind of saber you're building. Like a double bladed one, it's more expensive because it requires more components. Double the components. <laughs> yeah, the defender saber is also more expensive, etc., etc. Like, but for the, as, as for the rest of it, like, yeah, if you want to upgrade it to be superior, you need to, you need to pay like five thousand credits for the upgrade. I will do that at a later date when someone <laughs> explains the details of saber construction to me. Yeah, that's fair enough. <clears throat> well, actually, I was planning on explaining the details of saber crafting when we once we get to the forge. <laughs> Okay, so you're heading towards the forge, including Astrid, or is she still going? No, 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 no. I mean, I'll go there. But she's just gonna be in the corner tweaking her new gun. Boy, he isn't active yet, but okay. Welcome. I'm gonna to stay the with forge. the wounded at the ones. Help heal them up. The forge, son. Well, that's the thing. You can go back. Just go back to the temple first, drop them off, and then basically come back to the forge if you desire. Oh. Well, if we're going to the... It's up to you, Jack. I mean, I'll mean, i stay kings. with the temple, I think. Alright. Okay. You're, you're just gonna go, mmm, temple. Yeah. Mm. Mm. This temple is much nicer than the previous ones. It is. Finally a Jedi temple. <laughs> like a re Wait, haven't... I think Kane's has been here before, though. Yeah, yeah but he's just making a point, yeah. Isn't that your secret yeah. Jack? That, um, you took Sith temple. No. Same way I took, I'm just lucky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> No, 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 Sith Tomb Raider. Yeah, Sith Tomb Raider. BRB grabbing a drink. <clears throat> I'm holding one. You know what? I'm going to have a piss now before we actually get into the temple proper. I mean, while we're waiting for them, can I start upgrading? Ooh, right. can I also can I also buy my upgrades? You can buy, like, just uh, what can I upgrade? As long as it's, I believe, six and below, you can. All right, they are all six and below. So I want to buy. Um, if they are, these you can are... just buy them. Oh, okay. Do I need to tell you what they are then? Well, list them out basically. Are, are they restricted? Yeah, are um... they restricted? I think that's six and above. Like they're five, they're five and a, like five and above is restricted, I believe. Yeah. But with no, like if, if it's restricted, it literally says that it's restricted. Oh, does it say restricted? No, none of them say like restricted. Like, there's an R next okay. to the um, thing. So, yeah, with Jack's ability, I'm taking Jack's ability into account, so anything six and below, because it's normally five and, and below for basic shit. you can bring somebody, or you can do it yourself, uh, you can use yourself, or yeah, somebody else to roll for your negotiation, so you can haggle the prices and get a discount. Um... I have shit negotiation. Bite. Can you get me discounts, please? Sure. I mean, that's literally this. my specialty, so... <laughs> okay, so uh, basically the upgrades I'm buying are uh, laser sight for You, you can just roll negotiate. Yeah, just oh. sec, let me roll. If, you, if you're gonna, like, if you wanna do here, just um, post them in. Oh yeah, laser sight is a, good, uh, is a good one. Hey, Jack. So, that's... Um, three, four. I'm not sure about the advantages, but every success gives you a 5% discount, so that's 20% discount, and I'm not sure yeah. about the advantages. Jack. I would say you find your items easily with the advantages, and you get 20% discount. Okay, okay. I'm gonna add everything up and uh, do Yeah, so that's a 20% discount after you buy everything. Yep. I'm just gonna assume that, like... Apart from this side, one of them is also casting grip. <laughs> right, so, as... Jack of Spades. <clears throat> Jesus. Adam, what's up? I just wanted to annoy him. <laughs> anyway. Not here. As for three of you, I suspect that's Jack, uh, Tizza, and Cora, all arrive at the forge. Essentially, there is a pedestal at the top of these stairs, with a large kyber uh, crystal hanging above. Uh, Koro's gonna He's let out a very annoyed sigh and look towards Tizer. I'm so not good with this stuff. Dude, are you seeing this? Come on, T-Rex! Fuck you!
bitch. Yes, the building, collateral damage. Fuck collateral damage, I'm an entire ass robot.